I want to switch gears real quick, and I won't spend a lot of time on this, but a new uh, option or a new feature, and that is view rendering. In MicroStation, you had a lot of settings. You had to sort of be an expert in rendering to be successful with it. Uh, there's a lot of options. View rendering simplifies this. So you really don't have to fear photorealistic rendering. We added something called Path Tracer. The official definition is physically unbiased. It's a physically unbiased rendering engine, which requires a whole lot less settings to create these really neat photorealistic stunning you know, uh, imagery. You don't have to have, don't have to be an expert in visualization to generate one of these. Now, there are a couple things that you should know about. Uh, we have some options to speed things up so it can create very quickly uh, this noisy kind of image you see on the left, but it, because of the uh, graphic cards, uh, NVIDIA and also Intel as well, we can quickly display what you see on the right, which is it quick renders it to what you see on the left, but we can clean it up very quickly to display what you see on the right. So, you know, it fills in that missing information. And here's another example of it now. And if you've got a graphics card, an NVIDIA, a GPU, or you've got something, an Intel, uh, well, actually the NVIDIA card from about the last three or four years, you can take advantage of this now. There is an in, there's an Intel denoiser that'll work with any GPU, uh, including the integrated ones, but the NVIDIA one requires a pretty recent uh, GPU. We also added the ability to relight. So if anybody's ever done any rendering, we create renderings, we get this final rendering done, and the first thing that always happens is you realize, hey, I have lighting in the bar area, wouldn't it be nice to turn that on? And in the old versions, you had to go back and do that. Now we have the ability to turn on lighting after the fact. So we can take the rendering post-production and say, all right, I want to turn those bar lights on, or I want to turn all my wall sconces on, and so on, and change how that appears, okay? And, you know, modify it any way you want. You can adjust things like the multipliers and so on. One other change is the fact that we have non-photorealistic rendering materials that can be applied. What does that allow you to do? You may not want to show this as a true photorealistic rendering. We might want to show this as a non-photorealistic rendering effect, being able to take it and apply a filter over the top of it. So we're able to sort of make it look a little more hand-drawn with uh, sort of a watercolor or pencil look to it, that type of thing, and different ways to display it, right? So all of that, one image, you render the image, you use the, uh, in this case, the path tracing with NPR materials, and you can change how that looks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.